Now, Memorial Day weekend marks one year since the nationwide protest triggered by the death of George Floyd. Protests went on for two days here in the River City and at one point even took a violent turn, even though it was minimal. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding is live this morning. And Ashley, so much has changed in the last year and a lot still can. Absolutely. Melanie and Jennifer, good morning to you both. Yes, one of the biggest changes was the anti-riot bill that was passed and then signed into law this past April. Now that bill, that of course law actually cracks down on protests that take a violent turn. People here in Jacksonville will remember the protests that we saw last year. I want to show this to you guys right here. Jacksonville authorities, you know, made it clear that rioters were separate from the initial peaceful protests. These are pictures from the protests before those riots broke out. Now, thousands of people participated in what was known as the I Can't Breathe protest, named after some of the last words that were spoken by George Floyd, George Floyd before he died. The protests ended around four o'clock, and while several people were arrested, the majority of them had their charges dropped. Now, this is video showing the moments when the situation became dangerous. Both the mayor and sheriff said later in the evening, a group of about 200 people began confronting police, throwing water bottles and rocks, and also trying to set police cars on fire. Another officer was stabbed in the neck, but he recovered and was released from the hospital. Now, the law that became known as the anti-riot bill increases penalties for crimes during a riot or violent protest. It also will not allow people arrested in violent protests to be released from jail before having a first court appearance. Organizing or participating in a violent demonstration also became a felony. It also gave protection to all monuments here in Florida. Now, opponents said the bill threatens the First Amendment. It is now facing some legal challenges. Now, something else that was new following the protest, State Attorney Melissa Nelson, of course, whose office oversees Nassau Clay and Duval counties, changed her office's policy for releasing body camera footage to the public. Footage from police shootings can now be released to the public within 30 days. That is, unless, of course, the State Attorney's office finds that it hinders a case. Live this morning, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.